Good morning, everyone. It is January 24th, 2012, and uh, I have some good news for you guys. Sometimes I actually give good news. And the good news is that I checked my uh, little iPad here, and uh, I'm happy to say that the uh, FedEx truck is finally moving after three days. Since the storm, the uh, my FedEx package has been uh, stuck in Woodside, and now it seems that it says on FedEx vehicle for delivery, and there's no more red mark there, and it doesn't say exception anymore. So I should be getting it uh, sometime this afternoon. So I'll be setting it up with pretty much uh, just Skype. I don't know what it comes with, but uh, I'll pretty much be setting it with Skype, uh, taking off all the junk from the computer, you know, all that programs that are not needed that take up space, uh, cleaning it out pretty much, uh, cleaning out the start menu, and putting in, uh, you know, Twitter, Skype, uh, Blog TV, I'll check it out with, uh, putting, uh, checking out the camera, because it comes with a camera. I no longer have to put this Logitech camera uh, from the desktop to the laptop, from the desktop to the laptop. I don't have to keep plugging it in and out. So that um, that's the one reason I really wanted a new laptop. And uh, I'm trying to think what other programs I would actually put on there. Um, probably, you know, just the uh, the normal ones like Photoshop and uh, a video uh, program, maybe a video editor. Oh, that's another thing I'm real excited about. I almost forgot. Uh, this is the first time I'm actually going to be using uh, the new... There's a difference between the uh, Windows Movie Maker for XP and Windows Movie Maker for Windows 7. There's a major difference because I tried downloading the new Windows Movie Maker and it said this is only for Windows 7. So I'm excited to see what the, uh, the uh, video editing capabilities are for the video uh, for Windows 7. So that's what I'll be doing today and uh, I should be getting it around in the afternoon, probably 3, 4 o'clock the truck usually comes when I get a FedEx package. Anyway, guys, that's what's new here. Um, as far as the uh, comments uh, that I got yesterday, uh, I got one comment about that video I made yesterday from one guy saying, oh yeah, I've heard that sound before. It's from the electricity poles. No. Sorry. Dogs don't whimper from electricity poles that have been there for their entire life. Uh, cockatoos don't hide uh, on top of TVs and stuff and get scared. You know, I'm, I'm not buying that, but um, I don't know if you work for the government, dude, and you know who you are, uh, but, you know, either you work for the government, you're trying to debunk everyone, or you're just very naive, you know, you're very naive. Uh, people around the world have been hearing these sounds uh, since uh, the end of 2011, I believe, November, December, around that, that time frame, and it just so happens around that time frame, they're doing a major experiment trying to find the God particle, um, the Higgs boson, the Higgs boson particle. I don't even know what that is, but they said they uh, think they found it. So I don't exactly know what that experiment entailed, but I find it very interesting that people were worried about the HLC, the LHC, I should say, the Large Hadron Collider. And now we're having some serious issues as far as sounds around the world. I don't know if that opened up a portal. I don't know if it opened up a new dimension. Or I don't know if maybe it's something that entirely uh, not anything to do with the Hadron Collider. Maybe it's not anything to do with the Hadron Collider. But I just came up with that idea myself last night. I worked on it for about, I don't know, two hours I was looking up for information. And I found out uh, three things. One, I found that the sound was about around the time when they actually uh, said they, they think they found the God particle. I don't exactly know what you have to do to smash protons or neutrons or whatever they're smashing together. But uh, I want to bring something to people's attention that I don't think people know, especially if you're young. If you're a young person, you don't know about this in history. When uh, the Manhattan Project was going on, it was 1940, when was it, 1945? Uh, I don't remember when they uh, tested the first atomic bomb. In 1945, when they tested the first atomic bomb in uh, Alamogado, New Mexico, they were actually having bets to scientists because they never done that before. They didn't know smashing uh, atoms together what it would do. They thought a chain reaction would actually take place and it wouldn't stop once the uh, plutonium or the uranium was depleted. They thought it would just go on forever 
because the heat would be so intense. So scientists back then were actually placing bets if the atmosphere would catch fire. Imagine that, folks. Just imagine that. They weren't 100% sure what would happen. Okay? And they did it anyway. Okay? That's my point. You know, with this Hadron Collider, they could say, oh, no, it's a one in a billion chance that something will happen. But let's do it anyway. And I think I'll leave you with that uh, bit of information. Take it easy, people. Stay safe. Bye.